found the right place. Good. Holy cow, I hate mornings. So today we had to get up early and I don't like to do that, but uh, we're on our way to Little Rock and we'll be back in less than 12 hours. In and out, nobody gets hurt. What's up, man? I don't even know Richard. I don't know. It's so funny when I this. What? Boys are about 400. Gas monkey deals in cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this thing right? So oh, you so get about 10,000 steps. Two customers are walking aboard. All right, so we're in Little Rock. Uh, we got to go to a little town called Willy Wapa Wapu or something like that. I can't even pronounce the name. And uh, we got a call yesterday on a 71 SS, actually a 71 RSSS uh, Camaro, a 87 IROC, black T-tops, inside a two-car trailer. And I'm gonna try to buy it all and uh, just hook it up and take it home. So we stopped at the... Uh... Lucky's Cafe, dropped a pin. Sean and uh, Chase are gonna meet us. They're already up at the place uh, checking out the surroundings. And uh, you never know how good the coffee's gonna be till you get out here in the country. Oh, is that cream? Look at that. I don't, I don't think we're gonna eat. We're just okay. waiting on some friends and we're gonna drink some coffee. I already seen the shirt. Yeah, that's us. We're buying some cars up the road here. Found a couple old Camaros we're gonna put in the trailer. Who is this? It's a 94 Chevy extended cab or Ford? Extended cab, Chevrolet Silverado, clean as a pin. How rusty? Ain't no better rust on it. Well, I guess it's I'm good. Good. I've got to put a starter on it, but yeah, it's got a good motor. What about the interior? Not a tear on the seat. Where you got that? Right down there at my yeah. shop. Oh, yeah. I might have to buy that. Hey, now. <laughs> Let's not start a war. Hey, I'm done with breakfast, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't even having breakfast. We're just waiting on some people to meet us. Oh, it's extended cab with the step side? Yes, sir. All right. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm going to have to dip into my bag. Uh, we'll follow you down there in a minute. Okay. What's up, man? What's up, man? We're in the middle of, in the middle of nowhere. We gotta run two miles down the street. This gentleman would sell me a '94 uh, Chevrolet. There's a bunch of them around here. Uh, he yeah, says it's crazy narrow, no rust, curvy interior, short bed, or, uh, step side. Okay. Okay. Let's go make our plan, guys. Uh, hang tight. We'll follow you down there. Just okay. in and out. Nobody gets hurt. Uh, you guys already went and checked the trailer out. Yeah. Tight. Well, I had made the deal with her yet, but I told her about what range I might be in if I could have the Camaro and the IROC and the trailer. And if we don't like it, I mean, we don't have to take any of them. No, it's definitely, I think I, it's, I I think it's gonna work for us. I think it's your trailer needs work, and I well, think that's what you could do. Well, that's kind of the goal, is to uh, jump over the cars and own the trailer for nothing. That'd be right. That's the goal. You know, then we got a good double car hauler. Is it, you think a whole three or is it just two? two? It's just two. Two plus parts. They want that trailer gone anyway, so I think you already have an ammo. But uh, meanwhile, this gentleman down here said he's got a car up the street, uh, actually a truck, extended cab, 94, Chevrolet, with a stepside bed. It looks like we found a friend in the Arkansas Mountains. You, you feel like zipping down there? Let me see that truck. Yeah, you bet. Let's do it. What was your name again, sir? Brett Dry. Brett. Nice to meet you. Richard, how you doing? All right, let's pay this lady and get on get it on. Yeah, the starter went out and we pulled her to right there. That's where I always put my keys. I'm sure the battery's dead. Well, yeah, but you can yank that off, can't you? Yeah, just oh, yeah. throw a different intake on it. Power steering, power brakes, AC. It's got a few dingle that varies. 18. Yeah. Let's see why it wouldn't. I mean, these are bringing money these days. These are fiberglass. Are they? Yeah, it's yeah. fiberglass and they have these bedroll things. But well, we're not going to have room to uh, take it with us today. I'd have to send a service to come grab it. They can just meet you sometime. Sure. So you take 1500 16 All right. Good deal. Why do I ever have to give you cash? <laughs> Because, uh, what are you at? Uh, uh, no, um, I got 1200 here, but I got all my other money, but I got to pay that lady, and I don't know how much I've got so to give her. I need two for my wallet. Well, at least one, yeah. So, you're gonna leave us with none? No, that's fine. So, you gave me five, six. I got a hundred if you want. All right. 
We don't take camera guys, man. That's right. That's right. You don't carry a debit card, so you can't even go to the ATM. Oh, I have ATM. I just don't know how to work it. I hadn't been there in forever. You don't know your pin? You probably don't know his pin. Probably don't. <laughs> Can't remember the gate. Well, that's one, two, that's three, gotta four. work for 1600 bucks. Yeah, that's what I was oh, doing in the marketplace. It's, it's right good. Now. So, turns out the Lucky Cafe might have been lucky for me. We got this little uh, stepside truck here for uh, 1600 bucks. We'll get it back to Dallas. Probably be about 2100 bucks deep in it. And uh, now we gotta go buy some Camaros. Thank you, sir. Cool. Clear title. Sweet. You want me to write a bit, uh, receipt or how you want me to do it? No. Is this you? That's my sister. Okay, yes, you got a card? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can we come back up like uh, when you get the deal done and try to buy a bunch of it from you? Sounds you won't good. even have to move it. Sounds good. I'd rather do it that way. Okay. Kick ass. If I can make 100 bucks, I. You call me as soon as you got the deal done and I'll jump these guys in with our trailer and uh, I'll come back up. Oh, he's going to get you. I'd be wearing the little. <laughs> Must be Mr. And Miss Ford. Yes, sir. How we doing? Nice to meet you. Yes, ma'am. Sir, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Well, this is a pretty cool little place you got out here. Up on top of the hill, see the lake. We like it. I would too. This is freaking nice. This is nice driving up here. We got a Ford and a, and a or we got a, you're the Fords. And we got a, a Camaro and an IROC Camaro and uh, possibly a trailer. Is this the uh, 71? What do we know about the car? It's old. Well, I know that. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> not uh, you, ma'am. Not me. So power steering, power brakes, and AC, that works. Matching numbers, uh, the engine comes back to a 70 model. She definitely has some rust on her. Where'd she come from? Kansas City, Missouri. You wouldn't believe how heavy those doors are. Rusty. Don't bang on it too hard, Sean. It might fall apart. That's what my wife said. <laughs> yeah, but look at the vinyl roof. There's no rust on the roof. That's good. What color is the interior? Black. No. Bluish. Nope, it's black. black. And it's all there, except for the side panels. Does what's your name still do your interiors? Sue? Yeah. Kooky old Sue? She retired. No. She retired. Did she? She retired yeah. and went back to Asia or wherever she's from over there. I, want, I always wanted to go with her at least once and check it all out. She was crazy. No, I she still her. is, I'm sure. <laughs> she, I loved her. She's uh, she was a hoot, but her uh, her daughter took over the business. And, golly, we got a lot of rust. I think this has had a quarter put on it. Uh, that seems like a lot of Bondo on that side. What are you looking at there, Chase? Just trying to see if it was an SS. It's the original color on the exterior and the interior. It is? Mm-hmm. It's okay. built in LA. So it's been painted it. for sure. Yeah. But it's the, it's the actual color. We've got the... Let me see that dash. Has it got a rally dash? Ooh. Seats are in good shape. Rusty yeah, 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 that's what I was saying. Okay, that's a lot more rust than I thought. But the trunk pan's not rusted. What you got next? Uh, trailer in the other car. That's a 84? 87. 87? That's the year I graduated high school. So you know what an IROC is then? I know what an IROC was. I wanted one in high school. I think they're coming back. They are. Back. So the IROC was just a um, a trim package level on the Camaro. Of a Z28. Of a Z28. It was like the upgrade from there. That was close. Go. Dodge something or other. Didn't make it right. You won't find any rust on that one. Probably not, because I can't get to it. Just watched a lot of Dukes of Hazard. Did you slide across the hood? <laughs> well, you know, when I first met him and that car up there, we moved it, and I just Dukes of Hazard across the hood, and that was the first time I thought he was going to really get me. He said, do you know how it's much that hood need. would cost to replace if you dented it? And I'm like, and he said that he, what are you going to do with all this shit? So I didn't do it back across to get him back across, but yeah, he, uh, I thought he was gonna get me that time. Bumper, the rubber bumpers are in decent shape. Yeah, that's always a concern. Mr. Ford, what do we know about the trailer? As far as uh, towing condition and all that good stuff, how long has it been here? It's been sitting here at our house for since, since the summer, the floor was bad. So I brought it all home pulled the cars out, pulled the floor out, and replaced the floor, 
and started start on the rest of it. Well, I thought I'd call Cinemark and have them come run because the strips are wider than this. They can run one solid strip of the TPO. Hmm. That'd be pretty rad. That would be pretty rad. Well, you're being awful quiet, Miss Ford, so... Uh, well... Yeah, where was that lady I met yesterday? Yeah, you were a little more excited uh, when I was talking to you on the phone. Is these cameras making you nervous? Yeah. They oh, add 10, you, 20, 30 pounds. No, I said 30. It's 30 pounds. He said 30. Look at how skinny 30 your legs are. Now, I, well, he asked me, is that your legs or are you riding a chicken? And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how to get uh, unnervous about cameras because I, I do this quite a bit. You just put a couple in your bedroom, leave them on all the time. You'll get used to it. <laughs> you know what? I would be divorced in. <laughs> if I forgot to delete, delete, delete. It'd be a short film, is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. <laughs> if I didn't delete, delete, delete. The I rock alike. Trailer I think I like. Did you pull this trailer? I pulled it. Does it pull pretty nice? It's all there. You know, you know it's there behind you. Oh yeah. Two, two cars in it. Yeah, but we're not doing all this, are we? No. Okay, it's no, pulling no. all right. Axles are good, bearings are good, tires are good, we got spares. Oh, did you jack it up and look at it already? Yep. Cool, this might be your wiring problem right there. All them exposed wires. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Huddle up, guys, what do y'all think? That Camaro's way rustier than I thought it was gonna be. No, but the IROC's cool. This one's way cooler than we thought. We've been talking about building one. That would be the one. Rusty Camaro, good Camaro and trailer deal. What do you think the Camaro's worth? The 70 Camaro. That's that much rust. Somewhere south of 10 for sure. Maybe probably south of eight. Hey, I'm trying to do a business deal. They don't come up very often black. I guarantee you that number's going up. That number is going up. The trailer, I mean, if I could do a good enough deal to get past, sell the cars, maybe end up with the trailer for damn near free, throw a couple of grand at fixing up the trailer. Right. We got a nice two car hauler that we can definitely do, need. do stuff. Right. Yeah, I, I haven't ever had an enclosed two car hauler. Well, you got enough money to do this deal, or I got to front you money for this one, too? I got money, man. I, only got I just wasn't expecting it right then. Daphne's been getting stingy on me. Let's okay. go see if we can make a deal. Y'all okay. got to put up with that all day long? Yeah. Only if the girl over there, two streets over, at the first of the month goes to howling at the moon. Well, there's one loose. What does he get to play? The other ones don't? He's tied to a tree. Well, let's go up here and look at this Camaro a little bit more. We'll get away from these puppy dogs. All right. Well, let's talk about our deal here. She running away? Don't run away. Go get your cigarettes. Come back. Hey, speaking of which. What? There's no beer. There is no beer. This is a dry county, but. Dry county? Dry county. What does that even mean? That means there's nothing for about an hour. I have a driver. I'm damn sure not flying the plane. Can I have a beer? Well, I did that eastbound and down thing, so. Uh, we got some stuff from Tuscana. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> All right. Let's get a beer so I can negotiate. Mr. Ford, do you drink beer? No, sir. All right. Oh, Mrs. Ford drinks beer. She's a beer drinker. But she needs some. It's too early. It's not beer 30 yet. It is beer 30, man. Every girl needs a little rip in her jeans. Why would you want a little rip? Well, rip is actually a big guy. Well, I know who rip is. I'm just saying I think you'd want a big rip in your jeans. A little well, rip, I got a little those. disappointing. Well, what if what if she doesn't like it big? I wasn't gonna oh, go but that far. <laughs> we've already been we've already went down this road. Well, Look yeah, we're bu we're buds. Thank you, sir. How do y'all live in a dry county? It's just 14 miles. You got a beer, she got a cigarette. Let's talk numbers. This one's way more rusty than I wanted it to be, and it's pretty uh, eaten up in the quarters. And the I rock's pretty cool. Trailer looks like it could be neat. I just get it back to Dallas and rebuild it. So you're like 22, 23,000 for everything. I don't want to give that much. Did I hear 15? Is that what happened? <laughs> well, you just said it. Y'all are being awful quiet. Yeah. It's real hard to negotiate with somebody when they ain't talking back. I'm just going to say 20. And I'd hate to see you go back to Dallas with your tail tucked between your legs. Hey, we do it all what? the time. We do it all the time. Tucked between my legs. Yes. We do it all the time. Don't threaten us. Well, this one really is rusty. We got extras for you. Well, I saw that on the trailer, but it's the rust that's inside the quarter right behind the yeah, doors. Yeah, but y'all are good, right? We're damn good. Right? They're slim. I know I'm good because I tell myself that all the time. I was going to have him do a rotate. A donut? Just turn around so I could check him out. 
I don't, I don't have an ass. I got a hole in my back. No, I was just going to say if you was as big an ass as everybody says you are. <laughs> Damn. The, the only people that say I'm an Ooh. ass are the people that hadn't met me. Either he calls me no ass at all. <laughs> oh, I thought that was medicine. Well, it can be. <laughs> oh, it's definitely a medicine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Will you do 18? Uh-uh. You can put this one in there and take the eye rock out, and I'll do 18. Well, oh, no, make that doesn't sense. make any, that's not mathematically correct. Exactly, neither does the 18. So 20,000. 20. And I get the both cars and the trailer. They all three got titles? All three got titles. All right, let's do it. Do it. No. You got to shake my hand. Shake hand. <laughs> oh, about. She said make it rain. Who's drinking? <laughs> you or me? All right, I'm going to get some uh, money out of the car and uh, I'm not really happy about this one. I really wanted it for 18. Well, you want to flip for 2000? No. <laughs> Do you want to? Actually, that would be a quarter, bad actually. Deal. Normally would, but I just spent my pocket money on that truck up the street. Do you have a quarter? Quarter? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, don't tell her. Can you grab one? <laughs> it might be a $2,000 flipper. How about that? Are you in on that? Do you agree to that? She's thinking about it. You're just convinced you're going to win this flip, aren't you? He would take my part of this, what we do get away from me. He's got a head on one side and some kind of freaking tree on the other. Tree oh, that would be a tail. No, it's like a tree. So a $2,000 difference? You got 2000 extra? Well, I do. I'd have to send it to you. No, 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 no. Well, you know, I ain't, you know I'm good for my word. I'm here, aren't I? $20,000 or I got to flip for 18 to 22. I can't yep. believe your wife took your wallet. My wife ain't got my wallet. You said you didn't have to talk to the wife. I did not get have that? to talk to the did wife. Did you get that? I got to beg. It's a little different. Oh. <laughs> but if you seen my wife, you'd beg too. <laughs> well, let her rip. I'm going to call it. Or you want to call it me flip. I don't even know how to do it. Well, you just throw it. Well, okay. he's looking nervous. It's a I know. You, it's should, a you said you were going to win. He's got lots of guns in there, too. Pull the trigger, I guess. Heads. That would be heads. Wow. <laughs> Are you going to leave it right there and make him autograph it? No, I'm going to. You're going to cover up that $2,000. Rub his nose on Thank it. you. No. <laughs> so there you go. You ready? Got me. Little two thousand dollar flipper. Now I'm in for eighteen. That makes me feel better. I'm gonna go get you some money, man. Dodge Ram uh, short bed, and uh, it's one of the neighbors. So maybe we can get it picked up. Hello. Clean, clean, clean floors. I wonder why the steering column's just gone. Is the steering column here? No, he's got it. I think in Little Rock. Let's see if we can make a deal on this one. Yeah, Mr. Ford came down. He said he talked to you. What happened to the steering column? Richard, by the way. Richard Rollins. I just, I just washed my hands. Well, if they're clean, I can handle it. Am I right? He said you'd take 1000 for it? Well, I, it, I, I bumped that down a little bit too far. It'd, it'd be about 1500 And you got a title for it? Yeah, but it's not here. No, that's fine. I'm going to have to send a truck to come get it. Got another house. Okay. All right. We'll take it for fifteen hundred. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, they done took all my money, and I already bought another truck, so I'm gonna have to send you that money, if we're, that's okay. We'll, whenever we come back with the money, we we'll grab the title of the truck. But we're just talking like a week or so or less. Yeah. Um, I can't believe I didn't load my wallet. So that's car number four today. Uh, I got to come back up here uh, come spring and uh, carry some cash because there is just a lot of cool stuff up in this part of the world. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm in Connecticut. <laughs>
And uh, we got a really good looking uh, black on black uh, IROC Z car that's uh, pretty bitchin'. T tops. And it's 1987, which is when I graduated high school. So I might keep that one around. Now, I'm not sure how this whole rednecking stuff works, but uh, they got fire in the yard and guys are trying to load cars off of trailers. And this year, well, as they say on the old interwebs, that there's ingenuities. Hell yeah. It's been a crazy trip, even though it was a very short distance. It's probably, I think it was like five hours to Gas Monkey, four hours to me and Sean's, not, we don't live together, but to our houses. And I decided to just drop Sean off at his house, and then I parked the truck for the night. And well, we're coming into the shop right now. So we have a few stories to tell, but I'll save those for when I talk to Richard, and then you'll find out. Back in Dallas, Chase and Sean drove uh, all day yesterday, stopped over the night because their home is closer to wherever they were coming from. And uh, Chase is coming in with the vehicles and we're going to unload them and see what we got, especially the IROC. I just had a good feeling about the IROC, so I was like, cool, throw it in with the package. Uh, the other car's a little rustier than I wanted it to be, but uh, we made a $20,000 deal for two cars and a trailer and it made it here. So half the battle is won. Let's go see what we got. Well. Looks like the trailer made it back in one piece. That means the cars might have. So I've actually never had a two car enclosed trailer. Um, and this one's pretty big and I wasn't real happy with the 70 RSSS. The IROC shows a lot of uh, promise and I just took a gamble. You know, let's just get it bought, get it done. Uh, we're 20 grand into three items and uh, let's see what we got. What's up, man? Everything pulled fine? Uh, sorta. That tire looks like it's about to give out. Yeah, we have, we blew both rear tires. You did? On the way up, on the way up, yep. And it was like 30 minutes each time. Thank God we had spares, but we made it out of Arkansas. Well, I think we can clean this trailer up enough, but it's gonna yeah. need to be like front to back. It tows really well, other than we gotta get the height right. But other than that, well, don't we have one of those air ride systems on that? Who's yes, that? yeah, so Kelderman. Kelderman, yeah, yeah we'll we just call Kelderman. They'll make it happen. You know we have there, Phipps? A bitchin' Camaro. Uh, why they call it a bitchin'? Because that's was... Because you bought it? No, that was because that was what the song was. You don't remember the song, Bitchin' Camaro? I well, thought I thought you were a rocker, Phipps. Tell me a few bars, maybe I'll go. I, I, it's like bitch and Camaro, something like that. I don't really know. Okay. Let's get this shit box off because I want to see my IROC. I didn't get to see it before. I want to see my IROC. 1987 black T top IROC Camaro. Richard's graduating high school in 1987. Imagine no facial hair whatsoever. I don't even think I had like other hair. I was a late bloomer and I uh, wasn't really cool with the chicks or anything, but. Uh, well, it's kind of like now. Numbers matching, power steering, power brakes, AC. If I'd have had the IROC, I could have got like a date, you know, with the with the cheerleader chick or the hot chick or maybe even like the total dirty bird that hung out behind the school uh, uh, gymnasium and smoked cigarettes and stuff. I mean, anyway, I thought an IROC was going to get me where I wanted to go. And little did I know, it sure would have. I know it. It's actually pretty nice compared to these things, how they go. Yeah, no, the bumpers are good. What's the designation on the motor system? Are we a 305 or a 350? Because they came both ways. I know it didn't. What are we gambling? Probably gonna, probably gonna be 350. What are we best? Oh no, I'm betting 305. No, 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 no. If this is a 350. 87 emissions, yeah, emissions, yeah, maybe. Let's go 350. 48. Yeah, it's a 350, I think. Yeah, it's 350. Thanks. These struts. Oh, no, we'll never know. There's no tag. The struts are, we can run the block numbers. Power steering, power brakes, AC. Everything. In 
in uh, November 23rd of 93, they did something because they wrote it here. Well, we need Dang. to break down the code and find out. I didn't want to mess with it because I didn't want them to know that I wanted this car. Right. It's straight, though. It's straight. One little door dinger. But... And it's rust free. Yeah, it's super clean underneath when I looked at it when we were there. There you go. Nice shake full of I know, those are mine. Okay. Don't be trying to take my coins. You actually probably could just buff this thing out except for a little sun fade. I fucking love it. <gasps> Ow! And a whisk broom? I don't think it's doing much good. But it's cool, it's got the original wheel. Is that still. a pill bottle? Are those lemons? This one's first up, the Camaro over there, the 70, I'm just gonna sell like it is. This one, I wanna find out what I have. Okay. Cause I've always wanted an IROC my whole life and black ones are actually fairly rare. I'm gonna pull some numbers and find out how many black ones they made, but I think they made the least amount of black ones. Yeah, you normally see them in like that blue color or the white or the silver or the red. Or the tan. Or the tan. Those were ugly. Yeah, I've never really seen a black one. Maybe one or two, but. What is that crazy little contraption up here that holds stuff? It looks factory. Factory. All right, well, get her inside, we'll figure it out. Kay. Get her cleaned up. Where do you the want trailer? This? Yeah, where do you want that thing at? I think we just button it up for right now. We'll figure it out in a few days. So there you go, guys. I got a bitchin' T-top black IROC Z 1987 when I graduated high school. Love it. Could have probably been taking some girls out on dates in this back in the 80s. A, B, B. Always be buying. That's what I was doing. So we went up to the Little Rock, Arkansas area. Uh, I already had a bead on a split bumper Camaro with an IROC Camaro and a two car trailer. Ended up making a deal on the whole thing. And then while we were there, we stopped by this little cafe to get some coffee, ran into a guy and bought another truck, little short bed extended cab. And uh, you know, the Camaro's for sale. Haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with the trailer. Thinking about building the IROC, it's really, really nice, uh, rust free and complete and everything's there. And it's 87, which is the year I graduated high school. So we'll think about that. Now, if you're looking behind me, there's a lot going on. And you're going to see that in the next few episodes, so stay watching. Boom!